In this video I'm going to run through how to make a stylized cartoonish style character um, from working from the base model in Character Creator 3. So I tend to start off with this model which is the this one here uh, neutral male CC 3 plus 1 I mean you can start with any model it'll work in the same way but um, I always tend to go for this one when working for male character and first thing I will do is rough out the kind of proportions of the body, uh, body using the morph controls uh, I'm going to bring that in maybe make the head a little bit bigger Just some of the proportions of the body. I don't want the head so big. So it's just a, a matter of playing around with things. Um, it's going to be a generic character, so I'm not going to go too nuts with. morphs at the moment. Um, I'm going to be using ZBrush to do some adjustments. You can use um, the Edit Mesh tool and you can get some good results um, but for, for more smooth results I tend to um, go into ZBrush but um, I'll run through that a little bit later on in the video. So one of the things I'm going to want to do is make the eyes bigger and if you go to more settings got the eye scale, probably want to make them about 150. Maybe not have them sticking out so much. So bring them back in. Bring those back in. Churn out. So, one of the first things we need to do is we need to sort out the texture. So, if we go to the head. I need to load up Photoshop and we will send the base mesh and basically we just want to remove all the detail uh, for the cartoon character it doesn't need any of this detail that's on here at all so um, one of the other things I do as well is I'll turn down the bump map so we want it less detailed um, so bump map turned down base mesh now Photoshop is open so we're going to use the button here to launch this in Photoshop. It should open up in Photoshop now. Now I've got the texture loaded into Photoshop. Literally all I want to do is take a color, get a tone, and I want to color the whole object make a new layer the only bit of detail I want is the lips so I'm gonna cut them out place them onto the new layer I'm gonna, I'm gonna blur these this a bit. And I'm just gonna bring the opacity down. So I just want a little bit of detail. Maybe not even that much. I'll do it. I will merge layers and save. And I'll update the character. So at this point, it's looking a bit ropey. Um, what I also um, want to do is do the same for the body, arms, and legs. So all I'm going to do is what I will do here is send over the body. 
and we're gonna do the same thing again. I just want no detail at all. Merge those layers and save. And then I'm gonna do the same with the arms. And do the same again. And do the same with the legs. Okay, I'm going to go back in. Um, on the arms, legs and body, again we're going to set the bump map all the way down. Maybe leave a little bit. And now, what I will do for the face is because we've got the human, um, digital human head texture, uh, we'll have, um, some of these shader settings. And in here, I normally just play around with, um, I'll bring the blend strength up just to give a little color around the eyes and the cheeks, which is quite nice. And then sometimes I might play around with the saturation. But generally, if you're going to do that, you want to select all these objects and then play around with the saturation so it's going to do it at the same time so we can get kind of a skin tone going there okay so I mean that's a good basis from where I would start and then from there I then just need to do some changes to the one of the first things I do is the eyelashes so if we go to the eyelash texture go to opacity. What I want to do is I want to have a solid eye, um, eyelash and I want to get rid of the bottom one. So to do this I use the opacity layer. I send this to Photoshop and then I want to make this top bit white. I can just use the brush for this one. Top bit white. And then bottom bit we're going to go all black. Let's go file save. And there you can see I'm going to change the base color to black as well. So let's just bring the brightness down. They're quite big, so we're going to use the morph tool to just resize them a little bit. And that looks okay. Um, now for the eye texture, what I want to do with that is I generally want to make the eyes bigger, but yeah, I'll do the texture in first. So if we go to the eyes, we go to scene, wherever it is, and we'll set the eyes. Now, what I like to do is the Scalara um, texture here, I always think is a little bit too, there's too much detail for a stylized cartoon style character. So that just needs to have a white image. So I'm just going to copy this one and paste that in. Oh, is that going to work? No, that's not going to work. Maybe I can adjust that. Embed that and then turn the brightness all the way up. There we go. And we'll lose that detail and we'll do the same on the other one. Embed and bring the brightness all the way up to full. Now I'll select in the all. I'm going to go to Selecting the cornea. So I'm going to have the left and the right one selected. And then I want to go and I want to, for the cartoon style look, what I tend to do is I will bring the pupil scale up a lot more. Um, let's have a look what else I'm going to do. 
bring the UV out on that. And generally that's I meant might be pupils a little bit bigger. And that's generally what I tend uh, more I tend to do, and then you can have a play around with the brightness and things like that. But that gives you a decent enough cartoon style. Um or kind of Pixarish kind of look. You can play around with changing the base colour to a more of a solid coloured eye. Um so except this one, if you send this there, you could literally just as an example quickly. And if you want it to be a blue eye, we'll get a blue colour. And then merge it all. Well, save. You can do that and have a more, you know, very cartoony style type of eye. Um, but that's up to you. I kind of like this kind of look. It's a nice mix in between. Or the other option you've got to do is if you go into the pre made eyes in here, um, the uh, slacker eye. Also gives a nice cartoon like look, but for now that one will do. Um, okay, we're going to stick some clothing on the character and some hair. So I'll just generally use whatever's in what I've got in the content library. So for clothing, um, if it's if you're going to go for something that's a bit cartoony, you want something that's a little bit more simplified. Um, let's have a look. I don't know what we've got. Let's just work with something that's some of the presets so that you know we can kind of sort them out a little bit. So let's go with just one of the one of the shirts. I'll pick that. And then uh, let's do some jeans. And we'll get rid of the boxes. And again with these, the key to that cartoon style look, uh, stylized look, is just you know, getting rid of the bump, we don't need any of that. With the roughness, that's you don't need the base colour. We can turn that down low. Maybe change the colour a little bit. Um, we can smooth, we're going to smooth all this off and clean it up when we get to the zebra stage. But again, um, it can all be done in if you use the edit mesh and you know, you've got the smooth tools and things in here for kind of cleaning things up as well, which work, works really well. But it's just a little bit easier to do it in ZBrush if you have access to that um, and you can get much better results. But again, with the jeans, we want to, um, Delete the or oh, bring the bump all the way down. Roughness, get rid of that. Base color. I will just give them some. Bump back into it and then copy this and paste into roughness. And we will 
in the box. So. Okay. I won't bother with any shoes or anything like that for now. Uh, next thing we want to do is add on some hair. So with the hair, we've got um, the new Prime hair hairstyles, but you can use any kind of presets that's already on here. Um, let's bring these in, but these all work really nicely. So do I get like a, pick a hairstyle? Actually, if I go to I can go with one of these, so I'll get some some beard hair as well. Okay, so that's a a standard look that we're going for. Now, what we need to do is just play around with the proportions slightly again. I think so. I will give him a slightly bigger head. Maybe bring the shoulders in a little bit, shoulders down, his arms a little bit thinner. His hands bigger. Just play around with it until you've got the kind of proportions that you want that suits the character that you're working on. Um, actually, I'll them up a little bit more. And then the next step is to go into ZBrush. So once you've got the character selected, scene, select the avatar, so effect selected, and then we will go to ZBrush. And in here, we want to um, just stick with the the basic settings and press go. Once ZBrush is loaded up, um, I always open up a new document. So I've got the full screen. I'll click and drag the character onto the screen. Make sure to press edit and frame and get that character in position. Um, when working with ZBrush, you always need to make sure to change your draw size. So let's put that up to 5,000 and that up to 10, or around 10, so that you can get the right size brush. And I'm going to use mainly the Move tool. In, when using ZBrush, I generally use about three tools, which is Move, Move Topology, and Inflate. Um, that's pretty much all I ever seem to um, seem to use. Um, so now if we go to solo mode, we can have a look at this model. Um, what we want to do is smooth off some of this detailing, make sure symmetry is on. And we'll start proportioning the body a little bit more so it's not so Human ish, well, human, but we want it a little bit, a little bit more stylized. So things need to be emphasized a little bit more or de emphasized. Um, like the shoulders, I'm going to bring down this neck here. I want to take all the detail out of that. And just kind of give them a thin, thin neck. Also on the head. Shape to be more like this. Now let's have a look. I want to change the proportions of the face, so I'm going to um, raise his eyebrows a bit. I'm also going to move, try and increase the size of the eyes so they're a little bit more round, so they're a little bit more cartoony again and smooth the detail up there. Um, also I want to take the detail off the nose a little bit more so I'm going to take the bridge of the nose all the way in and give it more of a shaped nose. And 
I'll make the smart a mouth a little bit bigger. Pull the cheeks out. Uh, I this character to have my, quite a protruding chin and a square jaw, so let's that out. So it's just a case now in ZBrush, playing around with the shape of the face until it kind of resembles something that you want it to look like. So I'm going to take that down. So now that I've got that changed, I can take out a solo mode. So now I'm going to quickly adjust um, the, the shirt. So make sure symmetry is on. I'm just going to move this around to match up as well. Actually, what I like to do is I like to turn the smoothing down so that it doesn't overly affect everything because I can get a nice even smooth. But now let's drag this out a little bit more. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because, like I say, it's just an example. But generally, I'd fix up all the colours and things and make them all fit in how they need to. But you can get a bit fiddly with that. You you better off finding a model that's got it's a little bit nearer to what you want it to be in the first place. But you can go in and adjust these to make them work. Um, no, let's move back. And then we'll go to the trousers. I bet they're pretty much all right. They're pretty standard, so not much need to do in there. So we've just had a little play around with it, just to smooth things off. Um, And now we can send this back. So we want to press all. Um, if you just press go Z, it's going to send back the one sub tool. If you press all, it's going to send back everything. Now we want to update. Now we've done this, we're going to want to make sure that we to realign some things so um if we set the mustache we can go to form and click collision uh, collision next to all and we can adjust these get yeah, um, manually as well so let's say the eyebrows I'll convert these and move them. Uh, let's see, I want them higher up around here. And now, trans first, well, create hair. And we're going to go eyebrows. Actually, at this point, what it might be easy to do is with the beard. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the beard anyway. But you can just re-add them on. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to re-add all that on because it's all messed up a little bit. <sighs> okay, yeah. <clears throat> For now, I'm going to just quickly get rid of this hair. And... We'll add that back on in a minute. Actually, I might even go for a different style. Um, so looking at the character now, you can see there's a few little bits that need fixing up. Um, don't like how shiny these trousers are for a start, so I'm going to um, just quickly adjust these. Just 
make it a little bit more matte. Same with the shirt. I'm going to make that a little bit more. Of a matte kind of finish. So looking at the character, I want to kind of fix the indents on his eyes actually. So I'm going to send him back to eye clone and just quickly, I want to bring the arms up a little bit more and fix a bit of the color. So I'm going to resend him back over to ZBrush. That'll do for now. And then on the face, I am going to just kind of smooth out these indentations on the eyes. Because I don't want it to be so kind of detailed where the eyelids are. So I want it just to kind of blend in a little bit more. And that looks okay for now. Yeah, that that will do for what I want. I'm not too pleased with the whole shoulder look at the moment, but we can adjust that there. And that'll be all right for now. Let's morph. A bit of chest height back up. Scale down, height. Minus 80. Okay. All right, something like that is fine. Well, I'll do for now. Um, so now what we need to do is adjust the eyeballs because obviously I've made them uh, slightly wider. So I want to set the eyes. Actually, I want to go to head and go to eye, and I need to move the height. So I need to go to eyeball, and we want to scan them up a bit, and we want to bring the height of them up as well. And then using the tools in there, you can normally move them around if you need to anymore, but they're pretty, they're pretty much where I want them to be. I'm quite pleased with how that's looking. Um, one of the other things we want to do is teeth. So if we bring in a facial expression, one thing I would say to do here as well at this point is go to your expressions and go to the X plus and this will load in um, the extra morphs that are needed for this. So here we want to fix the teeth and make them a little bit more cartoony. So if we go to teeth and morphs, uh, I normally reduce the gap in the teeth, then we want to go to the textures, select the both of them, and we want to bring the brightness up and desaturation. I should bring the brightness down a little bit, and you can play around with them to scan how you look. But that's generally got a nice kind of cartoonish look going with it. Okay, so now we're going to stick on some hair. So we'll just stick with what we put on before. Um, the hair and beard on the character. And that looks pretty good. I mean, if you want to, you can go in to the settings and the textures and um, what we got. You can go in there and play around with the different colors and Things like that, but I'm not going to do that now. But it's pretty. Just go through the parameters and change. 
colors here for the different different areas and build that up but for now I'm quite happy with how that looks um, one thing I would do with this one for the the face it's a little bit washed out so on the head I'm gonna um, just up the blend map a little bit more get that bit bit more color in the face uh, maybe a bit more saturation and another thing that could be done is you can go into skin generally if you've got that and add in things like wrinkles and a little bit more detail into the character but for a kind of a stylized cartoon character look um, this is basically what, what I would do um, uh, And then obviously you can um, adjust it to however you want to make it your own character. So let's just whack some shoes on them at the moment. There we go. The other thing I would have a play with now is I would have a look at, as it goes to content, the lighting so we've got some really nice preset lightings um, set up in character creator 3 so this is the default one and i tend to just go through these and just see what one works works well with the kind of look that i'm going for so that's quite nice and you'll see from doing this it'll dramatically change the look of your character i mean i quite like that one Come back to that one in a minute. So, full body front. That wasn't too bad, but I'll go back to a quite like that was a full body front. Once that one's set up, I'll go into scene and have a look at what lights are on here. So I can turn that one down a little bit. It's a little bit too bright. Have a look at the rim light. Turn that on and off to see what it's doing. That one's okay. Key light too. Turn that down a little bit. And there we have a nice render. Of a stylized character and you can go even further into the visuals and play around with like your ambient occlusion things like that um, bring up the global illumination put that on white that'll kind of give it more of a sometimes help to kind of Cool shadows a little bit. I mean, that's another key as well. Um, bringing the shadow strength down a little bit can help with the look. It all depends on what look you are going for, personally. Um, then you've got light in there. So you can just go through. Um, you've got like the tone map. You can play around with that one. As well, so there's plenty of things, and it's just a case of going through and testing them out and getting what it is that you want out of the character. But something like this works quite nicely. And the great thing is that it's all set up with all the morphs and everything, so it'll all work with facial capture, body capture, and everything, and like the actual lips and all that type of stuff. So, yeah, I just wanted to give a rough idea. Let's move a little bit. Of my process of setting up a stylized character, and this is the same process that I kind of go through. Obviously, it changes in various ways, but for the style that I'm doing, but this is the type of thing that I would do. So, I hope that's helpful. And um, if you've got any questions, um, feel free to put them in the comments. As I mentioned, oh, before I go, as I mentioned before, if you want to do the 
um, instead of going into ZBrush, you can go into Edit Mesh to do changes to the model. And I'll just point out some of the best tools in here that I would use. So um, the Vertex tool is pretty good with the soft selection. So if I wanted to bring these cheeks out, I can bring the area out here. And if I want it to be mirrored, I can press this button here. And then we can keep the scale, scale that in and out and adjust that mesh there. Um, that's a pretty handy tool. If you want to go into uh, sculpting, a bit more like ZBrush, you can do that there as well. And then you've also got the smooth tool for changing shapes. And so anything that we did in ZBrush, you could possibly do in in here. It's just obviously um, using ZBrush, I find um, has a little bit more control over things. Um, And there we are, a stylized 3D character in iClone 3, or Character Creator 3.